Hi everyone, welcome back to another uh, video. Today I'm going to review chapter 303 of Black Clover, which was released last week. Sorry for the delay. Um, I'll do my best to keep it up on time. It was a very, very good chapter because we got to see a side of no cell that we never thought he had. And we get a little bit of, of a more uh, flashbacks to what happened after Asia got cursed. So <laughs> let's begin right away. So the chapter begins with um, No Cell telling himself that he couldn't do a damn thing. And as you know, when Majikula attacked Aesir, uh, Majikula cursed uh, Aesir for her to die. But also, her uh, that curse also is spread to No Cell, which uh, forbid him to talk about what happened here. And if he were to talk about it, he could potentially um, strike those with the curse as well. So almost in a way spread it like a disease. And it's pretty cool to see that he has those curse runes on his neck. And I'm like, oh, wow, that explains why um, they really couldn't talk about it. And we see that her mom telling him like, live, I know you'll become stronger than me. So once um, Asia started getting weaker, um, no, so I couldn't really tell anyone, so they kind of just blame it because of uh, after giving birth and all of that. So, unfortunately, that blame was passed to Noel, and unfortunately, they could no, so I couldn't really say anything about it. And it's pretty sad that Noel had to suffer through this all this blame passed on to her when it wasn't really her fault. And of course, no, so I couldn't say anything to protect her sister. In a way, he kind of tried to protect her by saying that she was a failure to keep her off the battlefield because uh, he even said it himself that her sister Noel reminds him so much of her mother and he just didn't want to see someone with the same face as their mother to die on the battlefield. And we see the struggle that Nosa has been having with himself. He blames himself that he killed their mother. But unfortunately, he can't even say it. And it's just so sad seeing that side of Nosa I never knew he had. And he's saying, I killed her, I have to get stronger. And we learned the reason why he wanted to get stronger was just to become strong enough to defeat Mechikula, to avenge their mother. So we then go back to the fight where um, Nosa thinks everyone present for working together to weaken Mechikula and says that his next attack is going to give it everything he has to kill Magicula once and for all. So Nocel immediately does his attack to Magicula. Even Magicula recognizes him. She's like, oh, what a touching reunion. And she even mocks him like, oh, you can't destroy the heart of a spring devil. I mean, you could see the damage that uh, Nocel did, but it's the heart is still intact. And this is where Noel comes and finally does the final strike to destroy the heart. And as Magicula is um, dying, she even states that uh, I, I misjudged your greatest strength of the humans. So it's pretty cool, but I doubt Magicula is gone. Who knows? I think she still might be alive, but who knows? I just don't think uh, it's over yet. But this is the best part of the chapter that it, it touched me. I mean, it even made me drop like a little tear. Remember Magicula stating that she controls the souls of those that uh, fell to her curse? That means um, Vonica and Aesir. Well, we see Aesir's soul coming back and thanking their sons. Even hugging them, embracing them in a hug. It was just so beautiful. And before she leaves, she even says that you two have become strong. And we see both Nocel and Noel with a tear in their eye. Like, they just couldn't believe that they finally got to see their mother one last time, finally freed, and she could not rest in peace. So it was a very, very touching moment, rather. I really loved it. Man, the chapter was good. I even saw the spoilers for uh, this week's chapter. Uh, I have some complaints about it, but overall it looks really interesting because we're finally gonna get back to uh, Senon's fight against uh, Juno and Langris. Uh, it's 
been a while. I'm so excited to see. Even the form that Seno has looks pretty terrifying, like very creepy. So I'm really, really excited to start reading the chapter as soon as it comes out. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you for the next one. Bye.